Hello everyone, I'm Katerina Supron. Today is November 30 and Militarni is reporting. The Ukrainian military is using M13 Bangalore shells to penetrate mine and wire barriers. A photo of such weapons appeared on social media. Bangalore is an explosive set for infantry and engineer troops. The charge can clear a one-meter-wide lane for the military to pass through. It can be used by a single soldier or a team. This method of clearing the territory was used in the First World War to clear a passage from barbed wire or mine obstacles. So before using such an engineering projectile, the area is inspected for mine traps and trip wires. Next, the required number of sections is assembled. After that, the projectile is pushed onto the strip to be cleared. An electric or non-electric detonator is used to make the device work. The set consists of 10 sections one and a half meters long. Each weighs about six kilograms. This device is still used by many armies around the world. For example, in the United States, the United Kingdom and Canada. Of course, Bangalore has been improving since the First World War. It should be noted that a photo of Bangalore shell boxes appeared last year on the No Mercy for the Enemy Telegram channel. They have U.S. markings on them. We have no information on whether the United States was the only one to transfer such munitions to Ukraine. Nevertheless, they remain as relevant for the Ukrainian defense forces as ever. Mines are one of the main problems faced by Ukrainian forces during offensive operations. They faced this issue during the liberation of the Kharkiv region and also during the liberation of the Kherson region last year. However, in the Kharkiv region, the enemy retreated more chaotically and did not have much time to set up traps. Although there were traps, of course. In the Kherson region, there was more time. Those Ukrainian soldiers who entered the deoccupied territory noted that booby traps were not only at the enemy's abandoned positions, but also randomly placed on roads used by civilians. In the context of military operations, the use of such means is primarily about saving military lives and speed. At the same time, such means should not be confused with humanitarian damning when special services have time to detect and defuse explosive devices using special equipment. Demining by detonation is a well-established practice. At the beginning of this stage of the war, Ukrainian forces were armed with special equipment such as UR-77 Meteorit and UR-83P portable demining systems. In September of 2023, the military of the state special transport service attached the UR-83P demining system to the body of a Kamaz truck for offensive operations. This made it possible to improve the mobility of the unit and reduce the time it takes to bring it into a combat position. The principle of operation is similar to the UR-77 meteorite system, i.e., a special demining charge is fired to clear a lane for vehicles and infantry to pass through. The Ukrainian military also received the American M58 Miklik vehicle, which also clears the territory by explosion. The transfer of such equipment began last fall. When Ukrainian troops began to actively use it, these vehicles became targets for the enemy. To work, Miklik has to drive up close to the minefield. It carries about a ton of TNT on board. A hit on this equipment threatens all the vehicles that are nearby. So usually, such demoners operate under the cover. Ideally, aviation also uses smoke barriers. The Ukrainian military who use the equipment say they act as follows. First, a tank with a trawl goes to the minefield. After the first mine is detonated, the crew gives a sign and turns back. Then the Miklik starts working. Of course, this is one way of using the equipment. We will not assume that this tactic is used by all military units. In his article for The Economist, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Valery Zaluzny, noted that mine clearance equipment is a priority for the Ukrainian armed forces, as the enemy has an advantage in building such minefields. The summer offensive campaign proves this. Mine clearance by detonating such devices as Bangalore is primarily aimed at helping infantrymen clear passage lanes in landings, fields and enemy trenches. The use of special equipment is needed to allow heavy equipment to pass. This is where non-explosive demoners, tank trawls and special engineering vehicles come in handy. 
Read more about these tools in Militarny's article, Overcoming Minefields is a Challenge for the Ukrainian Offensive. You can find the link in the description below the video. It is also worth noting that Ukraine is mastering the production of mine trolls for heavy equipment. They are also working on unmanned platforms. There are projects of robotic systems that can detect and defuse explosive devices on the battlefield. This is not a systemic solution yet, but some units are already using such mine clearing robots, which are being tested and verified in real time. So, while the robots are being built, the solution from the First World War is also useful. Subscribe to Militarni, like our videos, and see you in the next ones.